Great to have you with us. I want to start with America's uh, relationship with Moscow because it's quite fascinating what we're seeing with the president. On one hand, you have the president of the United States who congratulated uh, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, on what many have considered to be an election, uh, a sham election, at least certainly the outcome. Uh, but on the same uh, on this, at the same time, you have the president going after Bob Mueller, really upping the criticism against the special counsel there. Dissect that for us. So, yeah, we've definitely seen um, an increased aggression come from Trump toward the special counsel over the last week, particularly after we saw a slew of new de developments in the Russia investigation, whether it was Felix Sater confirming last week that the Trump organization was negotiating with a sanctioned Russian bank during the election. We've seen a ton of new developments. Um, we saw Trump's own personal defense lawyer for the first time speak out against Bob Mueller and the Russia investigation. Yeah, suggesting it should be shut exactly. down, right? Yeah, and that was the first time that we saw that. Um, Trump has been tweeting directly toward Mueller, calling for the pro to be shut down. That was the first time we saw that, too. So it's it, we've definitely seen, as you mentioned, um, parallel developments as far as Trump's coziness toward Putin and his increased aggression toward the probe. Is there, a, in your assessment, what was the triggering point that we have seen after months or maybe close to a year of President Trump and his legal team uh, walking a fine line, not criticizing the Mueller uh, counsel, the special counsel by name, I should say, but kind of criticizing the investigation, calling it a witch hunt, to suddenly then shift gears and going after the special counsel personally. So this actually came um, shortly after the special counsel sent Trump's legal team a list of questions that they wanted to ask him about. A lot of those were said to have centered around obstruction of justice, which indicates that the special counsel is definitely closing in on the White House when it comes to that question. Um, the firing of former FBI director James Comey, the firing of former national security advisor um, Michael Flynn. Mm. We also saw that Trump's frustration came after Mueller subpoenaed the Trump organization for the first time breaching that red line that Trump said Mueller would cross right, if he investigated right. his family's finances. Let me ask you about your latest piece for Business Insider because you analyze Mueller's continued push for an interview with President Trump. What do you think that uh, the special counsel wants to try and learn from President Trump directly that he may not have already learned from other sources or other documents that he's obtained? And then with all of the potential shakeup of President Trump's legal team, now that we know he's hired um, uh, DeGeneva as, a, as an attorney, what does that mean for his defense strategy? So as far as what Mueller wants to know, he's focused on two questions. One, what did Trump do? What was he thinking when he did it? And what was his reasoning behind doing that? Um, that deals specifically with the firing of Comey and with the firing of Flynn last year. Those two events seem to be connected also um, because Comey was fired after repeatedly declining Trump's request to quote unquote let go of the investigation into Flynn. As far as the shakeup to his legal team goes, it, it seems pretty clear that with DeGeneva's hiring, Trump is close to being done cooperating with the special counsel. Um, the White House lawyer Ty Cobb has largely advocated for a very cooperative approach mm. with the Russia probe, but it seems like Trump is done following that. Yeah, and of course there was that interview with President Trump and Lester Holt where he yes. suggested that he fired James Comey because of the Russia probe or the Russia investigation. Exactly. All right, great. Uh, Sonam Sheth, great to have you with us. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.